In this video, I'll be taking step by step how to make a Christmas candle using complementary colors and chalk pastel that shows value. So the complementary colors are red, green, blue, orange, and yellow, and purple. These are two colors that are across from each other on the cook. You have the color wheel like so. This is the color wheel. You start off with red. Then we have blue and yellow. Blue plus yellow makes green. Blue plus red makes purple. Then we have yellow plus red makes orange. And if we look, right across from the blue, we have orange. Right across from the green, we have red. Right across from the purple, we have yellow. A complementary color scheme is a color scheme that has two colors that are opposite of the color. They call them complementary because they go well together. Okay, first step, you're gonna be drawing a cylinder, kind of oval shape, just like that. Next step, we're gonna be drawing the stem of the candle. Next, we're gonna draw a vertical line that goes all the way down and one here also. Then you close it off with a curved line. Next step, I'm gonna decide where my flame goes. It's gonna kinda of go this way, so the light is gonna be over here, and the shadow part is gonna be here. So I'm gonna go ahead, kinda of do a wavy line like so. And I close it off. You could also do it this way. I mean, the way you do it is up to you. I can do my stem straight. And then I had the fire going that way. How you do it is up to you. Okay. Next, I'm going to make a mark of where my table is going to be. I'm going to have a table right here and a table right here. The light is going this way. So this part is going to be light while this part is dark. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a little mark right here. Be, okay, this is where my shadow is going to be. Right now it's white, we'll just blow it in. Okay, next you choose your colors. For this one, I'm going to be doing blue and orange because I already have some yucky orange right here. So I'm going to be using dark blue. Light blue light orange, dark orange, and a little bit of dark orange. Okay, for the first thing, I'm going to choose one color. I can do blue, but you know what? I'm going to actually do this one. Okay, so I'm going to color it in using the basic blue. This is chocolate pastel, so they're not crayons. You don't need to do the whole thing. And I'm going to get my finger. I'm going to blend it together. And doing this for the whole thing. Now, if you were doing green plus red, you'll be using a light green instead. You always start the lighter color first and then it gets darker as you go. So if I was using um, purple and yellow, I will start off with a very light purple and do this, color this in. All right, there's my basic color. Now I'm going to do my shadows. Take the dark blue and make a marker where the shadow is and shade it in. Shadow here, shade it in. I can do a second coat here with the blue so it kind of blends it together. Okay, it in. All right, we got shadow right here. And so on. 
with my white now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add the wax dripping there's no wrong way to do this I just kind of add wavy lines kind of interconnect in the shadow part we're going to be doing dark The dark is dark there. Over here, dark also. But close to the candle, it's going to be very light. Dark right here. And dark right here. Okay. Now I'm going to go with this. And add the lightest part. This is creating value. Value is the lightness and darkness of a color or shape. It makes something flat look 3D. Now I'm going to use some white. Put the lightest parts. It's going to be the top of the candle. have some light right here also it's close to the candle blend it together okay next I'm gonna do the fire starting with the yellow and then the darkest dark will be in the middle Okay, so, so far all I'm using is blue and yellow. That is not complementary. To make it complementary, we will add some orange in. So I can go in here and make a pattern of orange. Let's start here. do it this way and make my table Alright, now I'm going to go in and add a pattern using blue to make it complementary. I might go in with a zigzag and make a blue pattern on top. Now, it's very important you don't mix them together. If you mix orange and blue together, it's going to make a really ugly, muddy brown. So you don't want, this is just for detail. Okay. I'm going to go in now, do a shadow here. Okay, I might go in, just to give it some accent, highlight that here. You see how it kind of makes it brown? You don't want that for your table. Okay, final step. 
we never color with the black. Black is the ugly powder and it's really hard to fix that. This is just for outlining. I'm gonna go in now. I'm gonna outline it and show the texture of the candle using the black. Over here in the shadow, this darkest part, I'm gonna be adding just a little bit of black. Notice I'm not blending. Highlight that there. It's the black just makes it pop. But I'm not mixing. If you mix it, it's gonna turn into like a muddy color. It's not gonna be pretty. there you have it that's the first one blue and orange is complementary i'll cross apart add some more yellow here oh yeah that's the gist huh in the next video i'll be showing you how to do it with red and green